Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, life coach, and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. It is a gray and windy Monday afternoon. I hope you're doing well. I hope life feels light and juicy. And if it does not feel that way, I hope that by the end of the show, you feel a little bit more connected, a little bit more grounded, a little better. I want to create a space for you here where you can recharge your batteries and relax in your most authentic way of being, state of being. If you enjoy my podcast here, please hop over to Apple Podcast and leave a review. And if you want to give back, if you want to give me a tap on the shoulder, send me a coffee. <laughs> I will leave the show notes, uh, the link in the show notes. Buy me a coffee. And I would so appreciate to connect with you. So you can also connect with me over Facebook or Instagram, where you then can watch my videos. All right, let's dive into today's topic. Anxiety, stressful times, tension. How can we instantly address these feelings, that state of mind, that tension in our body? I'm not going to make it a huge <laughs> riddle, a huge mystery. It is through your breath that you can deeply connect with yourself, deeply impact and influence your mind, your state of mind, and literally breathe tension outside, out of your body. Your breath can be controlled by you, your breath also runs unconsciously. And I want you to think about this for a second on how genius this is. I, yeah, you probably know me already and you know I'm a totally, total physiology and anatomy nerd but the breath is really a tool that we totally underestimate and then again think about it how long do we survive without breathing we all know that we can survive a couple of days without water and probably up to a couple of weeks without proper food but without breathing we're gone within a couple minutes. So with this episode here, I want to really emphasize on how important breathing is and how amazing it is that you can access your breathing and that you can influence it and change it if it is not running to your advantage. Now, have a look at your breathing right now. Maybe you're sitting on a couch, maybe you're laying down, maybe you're driving somewhere. No matter what you're doing, your breath is always with you. But no matter what we're doing, the breath will adapt to how you feel, to what you think about. Now, if we scroll through our Facebook or social media, or if we research something online, I want you to notice in the future on how shallow your breathing gets. And you know what? Our body will take 10 thousands of years to adapt to that new lifestyle of sitting and scrolling in front of a screen. But what your body 
receives as a message when you start sitting down and scrolling and looking into a narrow little space and your breathing is getting shallow is stress. That's the only translation that your body makes. And you are regulating it. Unconsciously, you start breathing in a very shallow way. Sometimes you even stop breathing. You hold your breath because something takes your breath away. And all your body receives as a signal is threat. It doesn't distinguish. And isn't that so extremely fascinating? And now if we know that, we can learn how to regulate our breath and how to stay in deep breathing. And when you breathe deeply, of course not in a very exaggerated way, in a more natural way, but using your full lung capacity, it signals to your body trust, relaxation, we can expand here, we can receive here, all is good. You're more receptive to your environment. You feel better. So all the other functions in your body are just running smoothly when you manage to keep a deep, healthy breath. Of course, not the exaggerated deep breathing where you feel dizzy after a little bit. So notice next time you are sitting in front of your screen, in front of your computer, your phone, whatever it is, how your breath changes. And then hack into it and regulate it and focus on deep breathing. What you can also notice is when you talk to different people, there's people who are going to make you feel very relaxed and you can just breathe deeply, your pupils are going to widen you feel like you can receive them, you trust them, they're not going to harm you. So you have very deep breathing. And then there's people who make you feel anxious and irritated, angry, sad, strong emotions that we no, don't necessarily want to feel. And that's when our breath gets shallow. Now, for instance, when someone triggers us and we feel we need to react it's also a beautiful tool to count until five or until ten to focus into your breath and to see how you want to respond instead of reacting. You know, sometimes we react. It's kind of a, how do you say that? Uh, not uh, impulsive. Yeah, you're impulsive. And it feels good in the moment. You could shoot back right away. But sometimes, and most of the time, we end up regretting what we said or what we've done impulsively. So now if you feel yourself agitated and breathing more shallowly, you know what's going to come next. You know that now you got to calm down first and you got to count until five preferably until 10, calm your breath and then respond so that you don't have to regret in the future. So it is a very beautiful anchor to keep you centered because every time you know your breath is becoming short and your feelings are going to intensify, oh, that means I want to breathe deeply again. I want to recalibrate. I want to order my thoughts. Keep my ducks in a row. Another thing that I've learned from Dr. Andrew Huberman, please follow him on Instagram. He's a genius when it comes to neuroscience and all, all that I'm talking about here today about breath is that he said that he noticed when people look into a narrow little screen, they are narrowing down their perspective. 
And again, it would take us over 10,000 years to adapt to this new lifestyle of sitting down and looking into a narrow space. But back then, hunters and gatherers, we always needed a wide view to feel safe. We wanted to keep our kids, our relatives um, in safety. We wanted to know what you're doing, where they're at. And we spent time in nature, so that was very soothing as well. So we had an idea of what was going on around us, and that's very soothing and calming. And now if you start staring into a little hole, which your phone and your computer is, something inside of you starts getting agitated. Maybe you've noticed that, that when you're too long on your phone, heat is being created and kind of agitation, irritation, you're a little bit more short, fused. And this is what he found out, that if you look into a narrow, small space for too long, your body signals to your brain, oh, there is something going on and we want to widen our perspective here because that doesn't feel safe to just be focusing in on, on something small for too long. Another thing that I've noticed is your gaze. You know, you can have a very harsh and cold and focused gaze. And that's also when your thoughts are being affected. And you can have a very soft and kind and open-minded gaze. And relax the muscles around your eyes and your mouth and your forehead and your ears. And your thoughts become softer than as well. So all this to say is that through your body, you can severely influence your thoughts, your inner state, your monkey mind. So be aware of how you use your body What you give your body, do you give your body enough water, nourishing food, enough oxygen? And how do you feel with that? Maybe at the beginning it will feel like a waste of time and everything goes faster when I'm hunched and, and when I have my eyes narrowed down and when I have my, you know, the little, uh, the skin on your forehead, like kind of crunchy there over over top of your eyes and I can focus in more and relaxing will feel like oh I I'm slacking I'm not focused anymore but trust me you will do your body in the long run a huge favor and don't forget without a healthy functioning body you will not be on this planet so take care of your body as if your life depended on it <laughs> and take care of your mental health as if your life depended, depended on it. It is so critical to be self-aware and to know what your body needs and how you feel and where you want to change, where you want to adapt. Because the better you know yourself, the better decisions you will make for yourself and the stronger more or most valuable member in society you will be and have a beautiful deep and positive impact on the people around you so on this note i'm going to take a deep breath through my nose and then exhale through the mouth Feel free to do it with me one more time. Deep inhale through the nose. And then let it go through the mouth. And relax. Appreciate your body throughout the day. And yeah, of course, the deep breathing is through the nose, not through the mouth. Make a little research there online and... Look it up on how it is different to breathe in through the mouth and out through the mouth instead of breathing in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth 
all of the notes. All right, with this little homework, I'm going to leave you for now. Take really good care of yourself. And I will be back out there on Thursday.